day. Welcome to Kimmer's Everything. It's Memorial Day weekend, and I'm doing what everybody does on Memorial Day weekend. They get out their DS or 3DS and a DS game and a frosty beverage and sit back and enjoy because we got Soul Bubbles for the DS. And this is kind of a very interesting game. I bought this at Goodwill uh, maybe a couple months ago, and I've been playing it just a couple times off and on. And I thought, well, this is kind of for kids. Uh, but you know what? I kind of enjoy it. It's, kind of, it's almost kind of relaxing. And you can see only at Toys R Us, so this is probably one of those games you can only get at Toys R Us, of course. And a very nice copy. It's got some weird physics. Basically, you're blowing bubbles, or you're, you're moving bubbles around by blowing on them. And you can see here it says, you need a stylus, uh, save lost spirits by steering them to safety and mythical bubbles. Uh, eight divine worlds, four championship levels, unique bubble physics, deflates, expand, cut your bubbles, fill bubbles with water to extinguish fires or with gas to cause explosions. So you kind of get that kind of thing. First part, basically, you're blowing it through mazes and stuff like that. So kind of neat. Let's open it up. It's got the typical DS manual, it's color, and then black and white on the inside. But everything you need is there. And you don't really need to read the manual unless you want to because you can just start playing. It does have one strange feature that I've seen at other DS games, even some 3DS games, where it uses the microphone, which is kind of interesting because when you start off, it kind of gives you kind of like a, like a, just a basic walkthrough. But one of the things you have to do is you have to blow into the microphone to move, move a bubble around. And if you're going to use emulator, you need to have your microphone turned on. Otherwise, you're going to kind of be stuck at that part because you can't get by it. So if you're emulating this, uh, get them either you know, a laptop with a microphone or get a little, like a little cell phone uh, plug microphone, plug into your PC or a microphone. That way you can at least get past that part. And, but I have not had to use it in the game yet. I played a little while, so I'm sure at some point you're going to have to blow into the microphone to move the bubbles around. And that's kind of what this is. So anyway, I tell you what, let's just get in. We'll do a little bit of play, and then we'll come back to the end and kind of do a quick review. So let's play. Soul Bubbles. Wee!
It. That is Soul Bubbles for the DS. Kind of an interesting game. If you see this, pick it up. Like I said, I, I kind of enjoyed it. I thought I wouldn't because it looks kind of almost like childish. And it's kind of one of those games. It's kind of, it's not, it's not super stressful, but it's stressful. 
but it's also kind of relaxing, kind of a, almost a, like one of them Zen type games, you know, where you're just kind of moving things around. You're not really, you know, shooting stuff too much or anything. You're just kind of, you know, moving bubbles around. Yeah, but into the physics in it get quite difficult, especially, you know, you're using the stylus. Uh, so I think if they would have put the, let you have the option of using the, the touchpad or the D-pad or the, the joystick pad, uh, it'd be a lot more fun. But a lot of the DS games, they really focused on, you know, the stylus type gameplay, which is fine. But I actually prefer the D-pad or like a little joy nub. But all in all, I think this is a great game. At least uh, pick up a copy if you find it anywhere. Because like I said, I paid maybe three bucks for this at Goodwill a couple months ago. Yeah, I was surprised when I found it because it's like, oh, I'll try this. But if not, you know, grab the ROM, give it a play because I think I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But like I said, you will need a microphone to get past a certain, probably some parts in there. There's going to be part where you have to blow into the mic, you know. And I've seen other DS games that use that feature, which is kind of it's kind of nasty because you're basically spitting on your microphone or on your, on your DS. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video and get soul bubbles. I want you. That's you. Hold on. That's you. Have a great day. Wee.